And we welcome you back to the Rick and Jamie Show here on a beautiful day. And we're joined by greatness, Super Agent Todd France, who puts on the New Era All-Star Football Camp presented by Five Star Athlete Management. And one of the great gets of this camp is to spend a few minutes with the beast, Demarius Thomas, uh, five-year wide receiver with the Denver Broncos, 351 grabs, of course, from Montrose, Dublin High School, Georgia Tech. Demarius, it's good to see you again this year, man. What's up? Not much, man. Good to see you, too. You are obviously you, Des Bryant. Two pre- by, by the way, the numbers and the production, it's amazing, are right there the same. You guys probably the top four receivers, Megatron and a few others. Uh, where is the contract situation? I know you love the Broncos, but, but where are we, Todd? Uh, with the contract negotiations with the Denver Broncos? It's a work in progress. Okay. Uh, we have till July 15th to see if we can work out a long-term deal, and we still have a few weeks until then. So at this point, there's nothing to report. There's no news. I can't sit here and predict that it will or won't happen, uh, and we'll just have to play it by ear and keep working towards it. We feel that his work speaks for itself. I don't need to get into all that. If I do, if you want that, I can pull out a 50-page PowerPoint I told you about the other day. Yeah, I've got the nice goodies too. right here. I've yeah. got them, too. Yeah, they speak loudly. Right, right, the eye test speaks loudly. You watch a Broncos game, and it's clear that this is the guy. Uh, Demarius, you know, you're, you're going to get paid regardless. You're going to get the average of the top five uh, with the franchise tag. You're going to make a nice number. Um, so, like, how? Wh- where's your head at? Are, are you just calm and peaceful with this whole thing and trusting God that it'll yeah, all that's, work that's, out? That's or it. where yet? That's it. That's all I can do, man. I don't. I don't made it this far. It's my fifth year. I think I don't prove the point that I can play. I ain't got no more proving to do. So, um, you know, you know, I love my team. I miss my players. You know, I miss the fans. I'm ready to get back to work. And um, right now, I'm just staying in shape and. Once I go back, I'll be ready to go. You know, one of the things that bothered me kind of about this, and, and I'm not saying that Julio was calling you or Dez out, but they he, he said something that bothered me because he used the word talking about his situation that he wasn't going to be a selfish player. And the thing that I said, and we started to show off talking about you and both Dez, you honored your contract. Mm-hmm. This is not a holdout situation because you have a contract and you're leaving the team. You're honoring your contract. And, and so, you know, I, I just felt that it was kind of unfair for him. And, again, he may not have been talking about y'all or not, but, yeah, yeah, but we've yeah. seen guys who've walked out and people have had problems with that. So I, I always want to clarify that, and I appreciate how you've handled it, and Todd and you guys have done a great job of, of handling it the way it's supposed to be handled. But at yeah. the same time, you also have a right to, to ask for what you believe is fair market value for your services based on the 50, you said 51 or 52 pages. 50. 50, 50, 50 page PowerPoint based and on I, that. I don't I don't think I walked out it's just you know I don't I think I done did not not trying to be selfish or nothing I think I done did enough for my point that you know I've been through some stuff at the beginning of my first two years and you know stuff was said here and here and I done came back my last three years and put up you know great seasons and um uh, it's not a walkout it's just I think I deserve a contract a five six year contract and hey we get that done and Retired Denver Bronco. What's well, it's, it's back like up a couple things. No, yeah, there's fan. no walking out because the technic- we're not even under contract, Correct. right? So at the end of the day, he played his five years. Now he's in a contract situation. This is just as much on them as you know. Everyone wants to you know point the finger at the player. I always find that funny. If the team stepped up in a different way, then he'd be there. So right. it easily can be solved. Well, I tell you what can easily be solved is my conflicted fandom with the Denver Broncos because, hmm, I thought Demarius, you if you're well, I mean, I did leave, but I got Demarius. It kind of sounds like he oh, wants me on. back. come on! kind of no, sounds like no, Demarius no, wants me back. If you don't want to be back, you ain't got to come. That's what I'm saying, D. I'm what with you, dog. You. I'm a free agent then, man. Could Nobody be. ain't going to sign you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Demarius is staring me down, too, here. Yeah, I love it, man. I, I love you, it. Man. All right, this is the New Era All-Star Football Camp presented by Five Star Athlete Management. No, I like your style, dude. I like your style. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, but, but this maintenance program that they're talking about with Peyton Manning, I mean, you, I, I'm not even asking you to admit it because you're, you're so close to the situation, but we've complained about it for the last couple of years. We just see a dip in the play from Peyton Manning as the season goes along. Now they're talking about a maintenance plan, having him throw less in practice. Do you believe that Peyton Manning will be able to zip that rock in December like he is in September this year? I think so. He wouldn't have came back if he couldn't do it. You know, he's been doing it for a long time after – Neck injuries come back, pit up numbers better than a lot of quarterbacks that's young and supposedly be better than Peyton. But 
he still got the numbers. The numbers don't lie. I, I know he ain't got championships like some guys got, but he puts you in a situation where, hey, you got a chance. You you have to be, a, or I, I can't speak for you. I'll ask how you felt about it. Peyton Manning has never come out and made a statement of endorsement of, and basically saying, I don't understand why my guy is not here. Uh, and, you know, and I, I, you know, like I said, I've been covering the game for a long time. I played a long time and covering the game a long time. And I've never seen Peyton take that kind of of a stance where he's advocating that for them, the organization, to get his guy in. What did that say to you uh, when you heard uh, Peyton's comments? It, it, it meant a lot, you know, coming from Peyton. So I got so much respect for Peyton. And for him to come back one more season and say he wanted his – ain't going to say his, his favorite target, his best target, but uh, – We'll say it. Yeah. We'll say it for okay, you. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, you going to say it? You're his best target. You're – I can't think of a better target okay. in the National Football League. Continue. Oh, but it's, oh no, it's, but he got no one on the other side. That's my dog, too. Oh, that little joker right <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Best bang for But it, it's, 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 it's good, though, because um, obviously Peyton want me there. The guys want me there. I have guys calling me on FaceTime telling me they miss me. So, you know, hopefully, you know, my guy, you know, Todd and the Broncos will get something done so I can get back in Denver and finally get to work. You know, I've been putting in work, but it's not the same when you ain't with your team. No doubt about it, man. We've got Demarius Thomas. We've got his agent, Todd France, here on the Rick and Jamie Show on with Sports the, Radio 92.9 The with Game. The now, watch hair this. too, by the way. Look we're, at that hair, Rick. We're about, we're about thank you. Uh, we're nice. about 10 minutes in, and here's, I, I believe, the first feel good question of the interview. How about the success Tech enjoyed last year, and where do you see the program going for I think, here? I think it's building, man. As long as we keep beating George, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I beat him once when I was in school. So <laughs> I like this guy's style, man. You can tell why he's a beast on the uh, NFL gridiron. Uh, Demarius, we really appreciate the time, man. You, you having fun with these kids out here? You showing them some skills? I have a, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I get it. Get some of the craziest questions, but uh, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. Did any of them ask you about the contract situation? <laughs> no. Okay. No. What do you want to say it. to Broncos fans? Because I know the Broncos fans are listening right now. Uh, Anything you'd like to say to them? You know, it's, it's, it's not a holdout. You know, I'm, I'm very excited about this season. Excited about having Kub- Kubiak and uh, Peyton back, of course. And, uh, you know, I look forward to a big year. I'm going to have them be in my best shape. And, you know, I, I miss my fans. You know, I think they're the best in the game. Denver fans are unbelievable with, uh, with one particular exception. Um, so you said it's not a holdout. So, <laughs> so July fifteenth, the deadline goes by. I mean, are you going to be? Thanks in for having us today. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate Todd, being on. We really appreciate you so having us out here, man. Taking such. We're great trying to get your us. listeners to keep tuning That's in. Todd for France, us. It's like a reality <laughs> show. Come back to the next one. Of Demarius Thomas, we just ended this baby with a cliffhanger here at Mount Vernon Presbyterian School. Hey, still ain't asked the question. You a Bronco fan or you a? Oh, you're a free agent. I forgot. That's right. I used, okay. to, I used to be a Bronco fan. Now I'm a Falcon fan. Used to fan. be. You sound you know, like I'm, a, I'm here in Georgia, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm a Falcon like a, fan. Some of these new bandwagoners for the Atlanta Hawks when they was playing good. Woo! <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go, baby. Damn! No, Damn! That's not how it went down. That's what's up. That's not how we started from the bottom. You know what I'm saying? It started from what happened, the bottom. Though? What happened? Demarius, thank you, my <laughs> thank friend. You, we are out of time. That is the great thank Demarius you. Thomas Todd France as well. Thank you, guys. All right, we're back with more on the Rick and Jamie Show right after this.